Welcome back. Stay focused, take some notes, and let's go. The light part is where we light up and highlight the architecture we have built in the construction tab. Before choosing the luminaires, we normally build a lighting concept for each project. We are not going to do it here in this um, little office, this test office lighting. We will do it in the module bedroom lighting design. We will also talk about it thoroughly and more in detail in the course uh, residential lighting design and uh, office lighting design with Dialux Evo. The way to find luminaires or the easiest way to find luminaires in Dialux Evo is by going to Luminaire Finder, Lum Search. We, we, I mean, uh, in this simple office, we just need 60 by 60 panels. I will choose the application. It's for indoor, the mounting mode. We don't have a full ceiling, so it should be ceiling mounted. I will scroll down to find the aluminum. Well, this one here can be a good choice. I'll scroll more down mm -mm -mm -mm, to see if I can find something better. Let's check this one. This one is recessed. This one is not recessed, I think. Let me check it. Yes, it's not. 61, 4000K, good. Okay, let me uh, send this to Dialogs. It should be in Dialogs now. Yes, let's go to floor plan view. Let's, I mean, these are the ways to insert or to arrange luminaires in your projects. You can do rectangular arrangement, for example, from here to here. And then inside this, you can play with the quantities, number of luminaires in the X axis two, in the Y axis three, for example. This is uh, the first way to insert luminaires. Then we have the polygonal arrangement. I mean, it's the free, the free shape, then enter. Well, not enter, close polygon. Again, you come here to the quantities and you change them according to uh, your requirements. I mean, it depends on each project. Then you have the draw circular arrangement. If you want a circular arrangement, then again, you change the quantities, you can make uh, this circle bigger or smaller, and then you can ar arrange them in a on a line. You can play with the quantities again here, and then place individual luminaires, or you just drag and drop them, place them wherever you want to. But I will do the automatic arrangement because the Alux knows that this room here, like we have told it before, that it's an office for CAD workplaces. So the requirements here, if we click on edit, are 500 lux. So if I go back to luminaires, the Alux will try to insert the amount of luminaires that will give us or approximately 500 lux. It says one, so let's run the calculations to see if this one here is enough or not. So to do that, we we'll run the calculations, entire project, all light scenes. Here it is. The lighting is 769. The uniformity, I mean, the lighting level is, is fulfilled. It's even a bit too much, but the uniformity is not fulfilled which means we need to change this luminaire here. I will delete this one. Yes. And I will go back to Loom Search, Luminaire Finder. I will try with this one. It's 26 watts, 4,000K, 4,000 lumens sent to Dialux. Uh, it's not sent yet, maybe. Sent to Dialux should be here yes it's here 
I have this light distribution. The beam is a bit narrow, but it's okay. I will do again the automatic arrangement. It gave us three, four, two by two luminaires. Let's run the calculations to see. Again, the light level is very high, but the uniformity is very small because the light beam, the beam angle is a bit narrow. I will go to display options and go to show light distribution curves. And here you see the beams actually of um, the angle, the beam angle of the luminaires. I will delete this one again until I find the one that will fulfill my requirements. This one here, let's send it to dialogues. Uh, it should be sent. Yes, it's here. Automatic arrangement again is two by three. Um, run the calculations. Good. This one is perfect. The light level is 544. The uniformity is 76% or 0.76, which is perfect. Great job. Keep learning and I will see you in the next video.